Welcome back to our Dream of the Woods. Uh, today I'm going to just do a little maintenance on the sawmill. Um, I hadn't milled a lot this fall uh, with all the projects of getting the power and water and all those things in, uh, but now I'm going to do some, hopefully be on the mill as much as possible over the next few months. So uh, I'm just going to go over today the different maintenance things that I look at uh, as far as converting to winter and then uh, just kind of dailies or weeklies or monthly um, uh, just double checks and make sure that everything is uh, running smoothly and properly. First thing I need to do is just some maintenance on the sawmill. Uh, need to switch over from having water mixed with uh, Dawn dish soap and uh, pine saw to just uh, wiper windshield wiper fluid. Um, and I had already drained that before we froze and so it's uh, everything's empty and I think the capacity of that tank on the Woodlands uh, HM 130 is three gallons so it doesn't look that big but I think it does hold three gallons so that's the first order of business. After you put the new windshield wiper fluid in, you just need to toggle this switch here and press it down and kind of prime the system with the windshield wiper fluid. So it'll just take a little while to get all of the, but eventually you should be able to see it come down and then come out of this little nipple there. So eventually it will get to the point where it's running out of there pretty good. Um, it'll take some tweaking as I get going and you adjust it by this valve right here um, to get your flow. I had it wide open to drain it so it'll take a little bit to tweak that to get, uh, I just like a little, little trickle which you can't really tell right now but It'll get there. So one of the first things I want to do when I'm out here is there's two bushings that pinch the saw blade and then I just want to make sure the spacing is correct. And then there's a back bearing there, and I want to make sure that that bearing um, isn't worn too much. I've never replaced any of them before, and in fact, I haven't even really adjusted them. The saw seems to be running well, um, so they're, I'm not expecting a lot, but it's worth checking. So just want to clean things up.
Okay, these aren't really cleaned up that well, but um, basically you're looking for this, how those uh, ride in there. And so this one seems a little tight, but I think I'll take the blade off and just take a look at, just kind of clean it out in there. And then when I tension the blade back up, give it another try. And then that'll allow me to kind of look at that back bearing, clean that up and make sure that it isn't worn also. Uh, manual says it wants a one millimeter thickness or about the size of a piece of paper. Um, this little gauge here is less than that so this is 0.55 millimeters <clears throat> so the taller i have them set a little tighter but again the saw has been running really well and i was worried about them being too loose or have worn to the point where i needed to tighten them up and that doesn't seem to be the case Hope you guys can see. There is a bearing right there, and it definitely has a groove in it from where that saw blade has been riding. So that has the same groove there. I have an extra set of these. Um, the sawmill has been running good. Maybe I'll defer. Uh, to some other guys that have ran mills longer. Um, at what point do you change those bearings out? That's, that'd be a good question. Um, I think I'm going to run with it. I'm going to check the spacing once I put a new saw blade in and just make sure that if I need to move those forward to close that gap, I can. But my guess is that saw blade's running in that groove, and that's probably not an odd thing. That's probably where it needs to be. But let me know what you guys think. All right, another question. Um, I know that these bearings also will go bad and I have spares of those. Um, it seems like that's loose from the inside. So Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. That's loose from the inside because this isn't under tension. So that whole piece is loose. So never mind about that. Um, I'll give that a pull when I have another tension. This one here, pretty tight. Um, a little, a little back and forth in there, but not too bad. Uh, so I'll pose the same question there. At what point do I change those bearings? What am I looking for? Again, the mill's running good, so I'm going to leave it today. Okay, so I got the new blade on, and now I'm gonna check to see about this gap in the back. And that 
that gap seems tight like it's riding in that groove this one here I can get the get it in there so again I think I'm just gonna let it run like that um, the other thing I fixed was I had a clog in my lubrication system I had put in some dirty water last summer that was a mistake um, I just put it in from a five gallon bucket and there was some grime in there and so I flushed all that out so it seems to be working um, the other thing I'm looking for is that the blade is tracking well and I haven't touched that for a long time um, so it tracks really well and the last thing I need to do you notice that I don't have a blade guard up that's because this plate this plastic piece here is broke so I do need to order a new one of those um, the other thing maybe I should do is I lifted that up that up out of the way that's a safety guard so you don't run into your backstops um, it gets in the way of these big logs because it'll catch on the bark um, and so it's a risk um, the very very first log that I cut we'll show you down here so the very first log my dad and I cut we hit the dogs the backstop so I've already done it it's out of the way will I do it again possibly I am I tend to be very careful but we'll see how careful <laughs> it's bound to happen again I guess um, I do have an idea on these backstops um, to make them a little more efficient as far as measuring how tall they are um, but I just haven't got around to that project I also need one more so maybe when I order that plastic piece for the blade guard I'll get one more uh, of the long backstops so but otherwise this uh, the blades ready to go I got a couple other little maintenance issues that I want to check out so these arms that the saw rides up and down um, you can make that run a little more efficient with just some silicone and so I just hit those on every side I'll do the same to this one kind of clean up all the gunk And then just kind of buff that out with my rag. Another thing I want to do here is just see how that has a sun mode on it. Um, I think that has to do with the air intake. So I'll do is clean this pre-filter up bang that filter out and then what needs to happen is from that summer mode there um, you just swap it 180 and then that's a snowflake so then it'll go on like that and there it was a match up one of the things I did this morning is get this burn barrel going uh, 
I think it'll have two purposes. It's just nice to have a fire going and nice to have it contained. Um, and then I just have all these little odds and ends that keep adding up that aren't really going to go in the slab rack as far as firewood goes. I mean, if someone wants them, they can have them, but um, they just add up. So I'll just clean as I go, keep the fire going. Um, I, just, I don't know if anyone's done any burn barrels before, but it already had one big hole in it. And then I just put a few others in the base as far as getting that airflow. Most of the wood that I'm cutting is still green. So it's not the driest wood in the world, but it's going and it's putting off some heat. So I'll just continue to feed that through the day. So the other thing I do is hit all the stainless steel uh, log bunks with a little of that silicone and that helps them keep clean and the logs slide quite a bit nicer on there. So that's a nice little maintenance thing to do. Easy. All right, the other thing I wanna check just as my maintenance is that these are still square to the bunk. And you can see that one has a little bit of a gap. This one also has a little tiny bit of a gap. This one's perfect. This one has a gap at the bottom. Yeah, they all, well, not all, but that one's good. So I basically need to go through these and there's two adjustments on the back of these to then square these to the bunk. Let's try it down lower. Yeah, those are off. So I'll get to work doing that. Just not too bad of a chore if you're doing one, but I have quite a few to do. So get to it. So I got all those log stops square to the bunk. Um, since they were off, that'll be something I need to clay, uh, pay a little better attention to. Um, the other thing I did is just did some general cleanup. Um, so got all that de debris out from underneath the sawmill and just kind of got this burn barrel going and it's eaten some of this material, so that's nice to get it out of the way and cleaned up. Last thing I've been doing, you, you probably can tell, uh, I've been starting to use a bucket. Um, I just have a simple magnet on the side and it it collects, oh, probably close to 90%, 80, 90% of the sawdust. And then I just been collecting it in a bag. Um, 
think there's a little bit of moisture in that just from the log and sometimes there's snow and and stuff like that but generally that's nice clean sawdust I haven't found anyone that really wants it yet uh, I may just dump it back in the woods and and uh, mulch it back um, but if someone wants it I'll give it to them and I think it also will be nice this slick roads you can put a little sawdust down and it'll, it'll help grab that's going to do it for the winter sawmill maintenance um, just have to keep up on that uh, hopefully have lots of good milling days ahead of us uh, let me know what you think about those bearings on the sawmill guide whether I should replace those or whether I can just let them ride the way they are. Um, and the, like I say, the sawmill has been running well, so um, if it wa wasn't, then that would be one of the first things that I would look at and replace. So uh, appreciate everyone watching and you guys have a great day and we'll catch you with the next video.